Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to show you how to expand the volume of your Synology NAS without any loss of data. And a couple of weeks back I showed you how to migrate from one Synology NAS to another Synology NAS and in this video we're going to expand the volume. For example, uh, this will be ideal for people who have higher bay uh, NASs. For example, let's say you have a 4 bay NAS and currently you are just populated uh, the NAS initially with just 2 disks but now you feel that uh, uh, your storage requirements have increased and you want to expand the capacity of Synology NAS. Uh, fortunately, if you're using the Synology hybrid RAID, you can just easily expand the volume by populating the other two drives or a, a third drive, for example, in a 4-bay NAS. Uh, for me, currently, I'm using a 4-bay NAS and I have two drives populated. And what we are going to do here is add one more drive, that's a third drive. And this can be done without the loss of any data. And I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. One thing you need to note is that uh, the minimum capacity of the hard drive that you need to put is, for example, uh, in our case, the first drive was a two terabyte drive and the second was a three terabyte drive. Now, if I want to populate the third or the fourth drive, the minimum capacity of the disk that I have to put is a three terabyte drive. So that, that is the only consideration that you have to make. Now, let me show you how to go about it step by step. So here we have the Synology NAS. The one I have is the DS412 plus and this one has four bays and out of which two are populated uh, with three terabyte drives the first one is a three terabyte drive and the second one is also a three terabyte drive and we're going to these are empty the third and the fourth bay and we're going to add uh, one drive that is the western digital red drive again this is a three terabyte drive and uh, again it's a good idea to use these uh, red drives in a NAS. I've already made a video why uh, these are better than standard desktop hard drives. So you can check out this video for more info regarding that. And I'll just mount uh, this uh, drive in this cage and put it back in the NAS. And then I'll show you the DSM interface how to uh, expand the volume. Do note that I'm using the SHR that is Synology Hybrid RAID. And the thing with that is uh, to expand the volume like this, uh, the capacity of the hard drive has to be equal or larger than any of the drives. For example, let's say if I have one terabyte drive, this is a second terabyte, a two terabyte drive, then if I want to expand, I have to use at least a two terabyte or a higher capacity. But in my case, as the first drive and the second drive are three terabyte drives, the minimum that I had to use is a three terabyte drive and I'm doing that. And now I have this uh, red drive mounted and I'm going to place it back in the NAS. And now we have one, two and three uh, drives that are populated. This is the new one. Now just close the NAS, connect it to your ethernet cable and power it on. And now you need to log on to the DSM interface and I'll show you how to expand the volume. And uh, I'm assuming that your Synology NAS has booted. And now you need to log in back to your disk station manager. And I'm just logging in. And if you might notice your NAS, depending on your NAS, now the new drive should light up, uh, but it's not usable right now. If, to use it, you need to go to the storage manager like this. And let me bring it here. And uh, select the volume that you have, and we're going to expand this volume. And to do that, right now, as you can see, the third disk is not visible. Only the first two disks are visible. And we need to hit this manage button. And here, as you can see, we want to expand the volume. So we are going to select this, expand the volume by adding new hard drives. And as you can see, the Synology NAS has automatically detected this third disk. If you have multiple disks, for example, let's say you are adding two disks, select all those disks. For us, it's just this one disk. So I'll select that and hit next. And as you can see, it says that all the data on the third disk that we have put right now will be erased. And I'm going to hit OK. And now, uh, as you can see, now it's expanding the volume. And now after expansion, I'll have 5.4 terabytes of uh, storage. Earlier, I had about just 2.7 terabytes. And you need to hit apply. And now it, say, it gives us this message that encrypted shared folders will be unmounted and all the services will be stopped. So if you're doing any critical work on your NAS, just stop that because this process can take quite a while. And uh, now it's confirming this and now it's actually going to expand the volume again depending upon the size of the disk that you have this can take a couple of hours so you need to be patient so this is how you expand the volume on a synology nas 
can see uh, my current capacity on this NAS is 2.68 terabytes, but after the expansion is completed, uh, I'll have around 5.6 uh, terabytes of uh, space. Again, as you can see, it's going to take a lot of time. It'll take at least a couple of hours. And the time it takes depends upon the size of the disk. For personally for me, as I was using a three terabyte disk, it took almost about 32 hours for the volume expansion to happen. So it's a good idea to do this procedure when the NAS is not going to be used heavily because I noticed that during the time of expansion, the transfer speed spread, uh, fell to one third of the original speeds that I used to get. After the expansion, everything worked normally though. Also, I would recommend that you do a disk check on your uh, Synology NAS with existing disk before attempting this procedure to be on the safe side. So this is how you expand the volume on a Synology NAS. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button given below. I've also made about a dozen other videos uh, regarding Synology NAS. You can find all those videos in the uh, link below. The link will be in the YouTube show notes. Uh, thank you. This is Ranjit from techtobuzz.com and I hope to see you in my next video.